Hey guys, today I have something very awesome for you. I basically made a system that can generate a graph to different linear and exponential functions. On the bottom you can see kind of a basic function and all the blue numbers can be replaced. If you set the first number to zero, the function will be linear as everything multiplied by zero also equals zero. If we now choose one for the third value, the graph will rise in a 45 degree angle. Setting the last number to minus 3 for example, will cause the graph to be shifted downwards. If we now press the button, the graph will be generated. Now let's make a graph parallel to the x-axis. And one last example for the linear functions. The system is also able to calculate exponential functions. So let's go for a basic parable first. And I know it's not perfect, especially on the bottom part, but it's definitely close enough, I think. Changing the prefix to a negative value like minus 2 will flip the graph upside down and make it thinner. Changing this number to minus 8 will shift the graph a little bit to the right. And of course, this needs to be a high number now, or we won't see the graph. So as you can see now, the graph is a little bit thinner, but it doesn't look very good anymore. So I'm gonna set the first number to minus 1 and also shift it a little bit back to the left. The redstone making this happen is not very complicated and as always I'll try my best to explain the basic steps. For every variable there is a dummy objective and when pressing the button to generate the graph the scores will be set to the right value and the old graph will be cleared. Also a squid is teleported to the first row of the coordinate system and the dummy objectives x-axis and result are set to zero. In the next step, a bunch of command blocks calculate the value from the function for x1. Depending on what the result is, a wither skull as well as a piston extension are summoned or set to the correct height of the y-axis. Then the dummy objective x-axis is incremented by 1, the squid from before is teleported one block further and the same line is activated again if the x-axis score is below 10. The system will now calculate the value for x equals 2, then 3 and so on. It stops when it reaches 10 and now we have a wither skull and a piston extension at the right value for all the even numbers. These command blocks are all being powered by a fill clock and are responsible for making the graph appear. If you have not been living under a rock, you probably know that you can give flame particles a direction. All of these command blocks basically generate a particle line from the wither skull to the piston extension in the next row. And that's basically how it works. As always there is a word download in the description, but there are a few things you have to keep in mind when using this. Firstly, I would highly recommend playing in 14w26c, as wither skulls started to blink in the later snapshots. Secondly, when using exponential functions, you have to put a zero in the third command block. After about 5 hours of work, I just didn't have the energy to look for another bug. 
Thirdly, don't use extreme numbers. In the first command block, for example, don't choose a numerical value over 2. And of course, if you put like 9 million in the command block, the graph won't be generated. But nobody will probably use this to study for a math test anyway. Despite the small bug and the limitations, I think it's really cool that it's possible to bring math into Minecraft. And if you liked the video, be sure to share it with your friends and leave a rating. And I will see you in my next video.